What is good, YouTube? A Squad 72. And today, I'm going to go ahead and get right to the point. As we all know, E3 was about a week and some change ago. Now, I only got a chance to sit down and watch the, the Microsoft conference from start to finish. So out of all the games that they showed, this is the list that I kind of boiled it down to of the top five games that I'm most excited for. So without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump right into the number five spot. Coming in at the number five spot is Kingdom Hearts. And uh, the reason why I put this game at number five, and it's it's left me uh, perplexed in uh, many ways, is because, you know, we've we've been waiting for this game for over a decade. And I, I get it, you know, it's it's Kingdom Hearts. I love the series. They want to make sure it's, it's going to, you know, be the, the best game they could possibly make. But I mean, like I said, like I just said, we've waited over a decade for this game. And it's... I have a love-hate relationship because of that reason. I love the game. I love everything about combat, the story, the little details I have in the game. It's a really good game and it's a really good series. But again, like I've I've waited so long for the game that I walked up the edge of do I even care or not. And I feel like you know what? It's it's that's really the only reason I can put it at number five. And I'm excited, but it's more like a controlled hype if anything. So I mean. That's pretty much my reasoning. I'm ready to see the resolution to the game and like how the story ends. But um, yeah, it's number five. So there you go. Now, coming in at the number four spot is uh, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Now, this is a game that just caught my attention simply not just for how it looked, but also just what it not made me feel, but just just overall like just just look at the game i mean come on now like this game looks like it's gonna be a really good game the story is gonna be good um it, it did look like well actually it is confirmed that the game was made by the same guys who made like dark souls and different things like that but like i mean come on now any game where i can be a samurai savage in feudal japan i have to take this opportunity like come on if any any way shape or form i can almost like i can almost be shimatu toyohita from the drifters anime you best believe I'm taking that chance. I want to be able to pull up on people, samurai style, and take their heads. I know that's a bit much, but I mean, like, when I saw this game, it just, I don't know. It just something told me I have to get this game. And for that reason alone, that's why it's number four spot. Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Coming in at the number three spot is Dying Light 2. Now, I, I, okay, Dying Light 2 is probably the first game that I've been scared to play at night. And I'm willing to admit that when they tell you good night and good luck, they really mean this because if your ducks aren't in a row, you will die no time flat. Uh, the thing I love about this game, man, especially the original game, was that the story was good, the combat was good, the parkour system was great, the crafting system was great, and the game was basically is is the game can be as long as you want it to be. I mean, it's it's literally tons of side missions, it's tons of things to do in the game, and it just it's a lot of fun, especially if you play with friends. And I mean, other than that, man, I just can't wait to see what they do in the next in the second game. So that's why it has the number three spot. Coming in at the number two spot, we have Jump Force. And this is where like the hype train kind of gets out of control. Um, all these anime characters in one game, like duking it out. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if I can take it. I don't know if my heart can take it. And this is the thing, man. It's the game is called Jump Force, and as you can see by like the, just the gameplay, man, and what we've seen so far, as the combat and how it looks, it looks smooth. It looks like it's a very fun game. And I mean, again, it's called Jump Force, and like Shonen Jump has a lot of titles to pull from. So if that is the case, man, like this game has a lot of potential. I mean, think about it. Everybody who at one point wanted to be Yusuke Yurameshi and spear gun somebody in the face, like, bruh. If listen, if I could do that. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. It's purchase well worth it. I'm telling you right now, if I could do that, it's game over. I'm picking Yusuke Yameshi every time. I'm probably going to pick Sasuke Naruto so I can um, sing on somebody. But listen, man, I'm ready for this game. I am hyped for this game. And that's it. That's all I really got to say about it. So that's why it's in the number two spot. And that's why I'm still, again, extremely hyped, bruh. Coming in at the number one spot, it's Halo master chief himself now i'm excited for this game only because like let me be real with y'all let me level with y'all real quick like i'm a halo kid at heart halo has this very special place in my heart halo is the reason why i even started picking up first person shooter games in the first place i mean like halo is it halo is the end all be all the games for me 
I, I don't know how else to explain this to y'all. But when I saw this game being announced, I saw this game, I saw a little teaser trailer, and man, I, I was like, this is Halo. Before it even got into it, good. This is Halo. And so, um, yeah, man, this is the game that I'm most hyped for. This is a game that I just cannot wait to get my hands on. Cortana, from the last game that I remember, Cortana's around here with the Guardians. Things are crazy. So how will we resolve these issues? I need to know how these issues will be resolved. For that reason, for my hype alone and nostalgia, Halo is the number one game on my list. Thank you guys for checking out the video. If you guys enjoy my content, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so every time I drop a video, you'll be notified. And um, that being said, again, thank you for checking out the video, and I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.